welcome back to episode 37 of the Jimmy World Road to the Show. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the Miami Marlins versus the San Francisco Giants. Same record at 7 and 5 here in Miami, Lone Depot Park. We got Pablo Lopez on the mound, 1-0 with a 1.93 ERA. We're batting 353. We got Alex Wood on the mound. That one's going to be hit well. That one's going to get ripped into the gap. And it is a jump and a catch to take. A double, possibly more from us. I'm not happy about that one. That one kind of hurt. We're already down two runs, so Pablo got tagged a little bit, but it's 2-1. Let's go ahead and... Oh, no, we'll power swing. We were not context swing. We will power swing. 2-1, to one, bottom of the third. We're runner on first and second and one out. Let's go ahead and bring in this run. Obviously, we are the reigning... The reigning rookie of the year champ, and there we are, unloading... Was that a three-run shot or a two-run shot? It was a three-run shot to left. I only saw one base runner on base there. And it is now four to two. So way to un give us the lead. 106 off the bat, 384 to left, number nine on the season for 14. And we will absolutely touch them all. Quick celebration with the boys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Giancarlo Stanton celebration. I thought I made it something else, but it is what it is. Bottom of the six. Alex Wood still out there. It's very rare that I power swing, but uh, it is not rare that I swing at pitches at my face. I love to swing at anything. It does not matter where it is. I'm going to swing the bat, okay? That's just how it is, all right? Get used to it. And there we go. Chopper, slow roller to the third baseman. He's got all day to throw us out. We are dirt slow, and that is out number one. We move from the bottom of the six to the bottom of the eighth. It is still a two-run ball game, but we got Will Smith on the mound. Not smacking anyone today, thankfully. That one's going to be ripped and we're late. I actually waited on the pitch, so I'm actually not that mad at myself for being late. Uh, it's very rare. So, you know what? I'm not even mad at you, but let's make it a two for four game. Our batting average has not been the best lately. Brendan Rodgers is leading in batting average and uh, in the MVP awards, and it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So, let's go ahead and dethrone him. That's a, that's a spot. That is a dot. That is an absolute dot from Will Smith. I can't even be mad at it. But one, two count. We're going to have to protect here. Maybe expand the zone a little bit. And we're going to rip that one to center field. And this stadium is too big. I'm going back to small stadiums with 350 to center field and 320 to the power alley so I can boost my home runs numbers. Anyways, we take a W in game one. We go one for four. But that was a big home run as we did win by three. And we will head into game two versus the Giants. Sandy Alcantara on the mound. That's my guess after Pablo Lopez. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't think we played any defense. Yeah, it looked like we had uh, Sandy on the mound. No, it wasn't Sandy. That was uh, Sixto Sanchez. Anthony Discafani, first pitch slider, way out of the zone. It is definitely a foggy day here in Miami. The Giants are now a half game back, so we're definitely helping out the Dodgers with every win against the Giants here. That's going to be ripped up the middle. That's a base hit. Is it going to score one? It will. Ah, I should have gone. You know what? Ah, I should have gone. But it was a tough read. It went right through the cutoff. A great throw. Here on Jackie Robinson Day, we're all wearing 42 for J-Rob. Base hit up the middle. And we keep it going. Bottom of the third, and it is now tied at two. Discafani still out there. And there's that big wind up. Pitch down. We'll take that. All right, we spit on one. We love to see it. This year so far, we are leading it at least in fielding since we have yet to make an error. Knock on wood, we are looking for a gold glove. I don't know if it's possible, but we will see if we can win a gold glove this year. We're definitely trying to win an MVP silver slugger. What else are we trying to win? That one is ripped. Great timing there. Hit deep to left, and it is gone. Let's go, Jimmy World. Mr. Steel, your girl. Touch them all. Pause. Not the girls. Relax. I'm touch talking about the bases. That's number 10 on the season, a league leading 10, 105 off the bat, 389 to left, and the fish are up. I love when my man is doing this whole techno rave, you, you know, the emo, you know who I'm talking about, you, you know who I'm talking about, You're doing the little dancey dance, and we do got a lead. Bottom of the fifth, we're still up by a run, and they still got Discafani out there. Multi-hit game, which we take, it's been a, it's been a little brutal, multi-home run game, we will definitely take that. I own you, Discafani. You are my son. 
you are my son. I feel bad for him. Three home runs, or excuse me, two home runs, three hits on the day, and we make that lead even bigger. 105 off the bat, 401 to right field. Oh, baby, that was beautiful. Oh, he looks focused. He looks focused. And Discafani looks pissed. Yeah. Yeah. We will move. We got some defense. Sixo Sanchez still out there in the top of the six. Wilmer Flores batting third. We got defense to play. We're trying to keep that. We're trying to keep that fielding percentage up and win a gold glove. I don't know if it's possible. I'm hoping, but that's the one I'm least, least thinking is possible. But here we go. Alex Cobb in the bottom of the six. We'll have probably two more at bats. We'll definitely have one at least. I got under that one. I got under a splitter right down the middle. You can't miss that pitch with a runner on third. We strand a runner. We have not been that great with runners in scoring position. But here we go. Top of the eighth. Sixto still out there. He's at pitch 98. I don't know if he's definitely not going to go completo. Backhand. Good try on the dive. That is probably going to be it for him. 16 speed. He is going to get two bases off of that one. And it is a double. Nothing I can do about that. Pitch 99, ripped down the line for Tommy LaStella. And we're going to take a W here in game two. So we've won the series, and now we're looking for a sweep. Hey, here we go. We move into game three. Already having won the series, looking for the sweep. We got Jose Ureña on the mound. He's 2-0 on the day, 4 point, or on the year, 4.6 ERA, which means we've gotten him some runs. Uh, and he gave up three in the first. Carlos Martinez, a.k.a. Pimpa, a.k.a. Tsunami, is going to get me to bloop to left. For a fly out first pitch swinging and he got me to induce the pop fly weak fly out to left to get it started we're now down five to one in the bottom of the third so my team is kind of going to need me to do it by myself because the games i don't the games i don't contribute we just don't do much it is what it is that's how you win an mvp is you are the most valuable player and truth be told that's a trivia world mr steal your girl for sure that's ball two and it's a good take we got two outs, 2-0 two -oh count, 5-1 to one here in the bottom of the third. Jimmy World, get it started. Get it going. Throw in the dirt, Belt blocks it up, though. And we got Joey Wendell over at first. A Bart. We got two guys whose name starts with a B, four letters, and ends with a T. I was like, Belt, behind the plate, too? It's Joey Bart. That makes sense. 3-0 -oh count. And you want to know what? Even with Jorge Soler batting behind us, I am swinging if this is a good pitch. I am the one we need. That was a good pitch, but we were early. All right, we foul it off. No big deal. 3-0 count. We definitely want to be early and not be late on a pitch. And then a good cutter. And now it is even, or it is full, 3-2. Runner will be going. This ball will be going. I'm looking for a, this is a home run right here. Here it is. Ripped and Brandon Bell catches it. We absolutely crushed that ball right at him we have been very unlucky at times and we're getting one more chance all right we got another chance to tie this game with one swing of the bat that's a good take good read on the circle change 313 with runner in scoring position we got to get that number up just a little bit that's not great he's 66 pitches deep he's getting tired and he's in the stretch you see there it is Ball two. Once again, we are ahead in the count. We're in a good spot. I think he's going to make a mistake. I just can't miss it. He made it on 3-0. Last at bat. He threw us a belt high fastball, and we were early. Let's see if we can time it up. Bases loaded for Jorge Soler with no outs. That I'm not mad at. If he gives us ball four, he gives us ball four, but I don't think I'm taking all the way here. We didn't take all the way. We swung, and we flew out to the warning track. Hopefully the runner at least tags up and we move him over. We do. And it is up to Jorge Soler to pick me up. It is a 6-6 game. I will absolutely take that up. 0 for 3 on the day. Just not a great day at the office. But we got runners on the corner with one out. John Brebbia is back on the bump. Jimmy World 0 for 3. Good take. I've gotten a lot of pitches and I've taken a lot of pitches out of the zone. I'm not mad at that. But our success... We need a base hit or this hit streak is over. Circle change out of the zone. Plus, we need a run here. So, I mean, forget, you know, just can't ground into a double play, essentially. But I would prefer a base hit over a sacrifice fly, if I'm, if I'm being honest. I'm just not getting many pitches. I'm not getting many pitches. I need you to throw in the strike zone. 
Why won't these guys go after me? Why are they refusing to attack the zone? I don't understand. What did I do? I'm batting over three. Throw a belt high fastball. Throw a belt high fastball. That is a base hit. The hit streak continues. Ah, I shouldn't follow, but you know what? They hit the cutoff. So it was best that I didn't. Challenge complete. Clutch, clutch, clutch. And that ball was 114 at least. At least 114 if you ask me. That's my guess. 114 off the bat. RBI, 111. All right, not terrible. 9.59. We got to pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. We got to get that up to like 22. Corey Knebel is our setup man. Uh, not our closer, it looks like. So I'm curious to see why he's not closing. But we're looking for a W. We need six outs. We got our hit. Would love another one, but here we go. A lead miss. Pops up. Wendell is there, but I'm going to call him off. My, 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 my. And he just stares me in the eye. Would you like a kiss? Why, why did you look at me like that and get so close? You weirdo. We make another good play. And we're going to get that one more at bat. So we can end two for five on the day, which I would not be mad at. Or one for five, which I kind of would be mad at. We got Will Smith, bottom of the eighth, up by a run. We've already faced him enough. Could try with the slider. Back door, not there. 17,000 in attendance. I'm going to be honest. I am so sick of Miami. I love the city, but we had no support from these boys. And I'm going to be honest. 17,000? I don't even believe that. We're early on the fastball. And guess what? One for five on the day. We head to the top of the ninth. With a lead, we just need three outs, and we're going to walk out of here with a clean sweep. We end up with the sweep. We take that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.